The road to Stanley ends here. It's Sin City against South Florida. It's the Florida Panthers against the Vegas Golden Knights in the 2023 Stanley Cup Final. He's Pete Blackburn. I'm Frank Cervalli from DailyFaceoff.com. Pete, who do you like in this series and why? As much as I as I want to say that the Florida Panthers are a team of destiny, my brain is going to the Vegas Golden Knights just because they've seemed like the most consistent team of this playoff run in terms of sustainability. Like, I know the Panthers have won 11 of 12, but is that sustainable? I don't know. I, I look at what they've done beginning to end, the, the Vegas Golden Knights, and they've just been so good, almost in like a boring way where they just take care of business. Systematic any... dismantling is what it's been like. Exactly. And you, you've, you, you look at what they've done so far, they've gone through some top end goaltenders. They're going to see the hottest goaltender of the playoffs in Sergei Bobrovsky in this final. But you look at what they did to, to Connor Hellebuck and then Jake Ottinger, two of the highest regarded goalies in the league. They made them look like mere mortals. Maybe they do the same to Sergei Bobrovsky. We know about them running four lines and never really taking their foot off the gas. But one of the biggest things that I'm looking at is the fact that they have probably the most impressive shutdown defender of these playoffs so far with William Carlson. The Golden Knights are outscoring opponents 14 to five with him on the ice. He's not taking any penalties going up against top end talent on the other side. And obviously if you're able to neutralize Matthew Kachuk or at least mitigate what Matthew Kachuk and his line can do, you're gonna be in a good spot if you're the Vegas Golden Knights. Yeah, I agree with you. And the Florida Panthers also just happened to shred though the best defending team in the playoffs in the Carolina Hurricanes with that defense core that they have in the Eastern Conference Final made quick work of them. I agree with you on all your points about the consistency of the Golden Knights, as I mentioned, systemic dismantling that we've seen. But I also wonder more about some of the other things that we've seen from the Panthers and whether or not they're sustainable. Sergei Bobrovsky in this run, he didn't start the first three games of the playoffs because they thought he lost his game. Now with a 10 day layoff between games for the Panthers, what are the odds that he just turns into a pumpkin again? I mean, we're dealing with a player that was definitively unconscious in this postseason, a 966 save percentage in round three, numbers that we haven't seen before, uh, certainly not recently with how well Bob Rofsky's played. Does that change? The fact that they've been eight and one on the road so far in the postseason. What about their OT record? Six and oh, with a four OT win to their credit. That's shades of the 1993 Montreal Canadiens. And yes, this run from the Florida Panthers has been borderline miraculous for a team that lost its way into the Stanley Cup playoffs in the last week of the regular season. We've seen eight seeds get here before. We've seen eight seeds close the deal, the LA Kings back in 2012. I just don't see it. I think for a lot of the reasons you mentioned, I've got the Golden Knights. What's your prediction? Uh, I think it's going to go the distance. I'm going to say Golden Knights in seven. I think the margins are pretty small here, and I think this is going to be a fun competitive series, but I'm going to go with Vegas on the edge in seven games. I'm going to go Vegas in six, and the only real guarantee, at least for hockey fans traveling back and forth between the series, is that it's going to be one sweaty Stanley Cup final. Puck drop game one, 8 p.m. Eastern on Saturday night.